What's up guys, it's TDM. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller um, on your Chromebook. So, first what you're going to want to do is get your PS4 controller and press the PS button and the share button and click it until there's some flash coming from here. So I'll just do that now. It's the PS button with the share button. You're going to want to click that until it starts flashing. And now it's flashing. And then on your Chromebook, you're gonna want to go to settings, then go to Bluetooth, have it on, and it's going for, and then it's gonna say wireless controller. You can't see that well, but on Bluetooth, when you go to settings, it's gonna say wireless controller. Then it says connecting to wireless controller and then it's going to show a notification that it says bluetooth device and wireless controller has been paired and is now available to all users and you could go to the chrome web store And there's many games. There's a few games, and one of them I like is... I forgot what it's called. Let me check it out. I have it on this Chromebook. It's called Cracking Sands. Cracking Sands. Cracking Sands. And it finally downloaded. And you could actually play games such as Cracking Sands on your Chromebook device. <sighs> and now it's gonna ask if you're if you've ever played this game. I just put OK. And you play all kinds of games like campaign. And it's kind of easy. The controls are really different. It looks like I'm using the left trigger, but this is my left hand. So, for you guys, you're gonna be pressing the button, the right trigger, the right one. For you, it looks like left, but it's actually the right one. And the one that I usually used to move, move with games, the left one, it's not going to be that one. You could either use the right trigger or the keypad. And with X, you can use boost, triangle, and you can shoot stuff. And if you operate, if you operate your cars, you can use the side buttons. Let's see if you just do a gameplay. And you could also jump with the right trigger. You could double jump with the right trigger. And X is for boost. So you can move the left keypad and the right one. And if you think this method doesn't work, it actually does which is that I thought that at first I thought it didn't work, but after you tried it a few times it actually did work. Cause it takes a it takes kind of long. So that you could actually be able to control it without the lag. Like, 